she's a brilliant young star. He's a successful young director. Together, they make movie magic. On screen, it's as good as it gets. Off screen, they're a riot. Best friends, Kads and Karu, otherwise known as Kajul and Karan Joha. Kajal Karan, it's great to have you here. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. You know, this is the first time that Kajal and I are actually meeting. Really? Yeah. I've loved you on screen. I mean, but we've never really talked as such. No, actually, I think we've met once or twice at a party. At least maybe I remember you, you don't no. remember me. But I don't think we've chatted before. No, maybe not, yes. No. So I'm really looking forward to this evening. I think you're quite fortunate not to have bumped into her earlier at any party. <laughs> <laughs> Sick you are. You know, when I, when I talked to Karan, I said to him, you've got to bring your bestest friend, oh, bestest yes. female friend. And it didn't take him a minute to say, well, then that's Kajal. That's because she was in front of me, actually. I couldn't think of anything. I'm else. Sick, no, Karan. I'm just joking. Who else? <laughs> no, no, you only, darling, only you. Yes. <laughs> and only you. Yeah. <laughs> but you had to hear what his mom said. What? Oh, he'll be bringing Kajal on set. <laughs> so I said, yes. She said, well, then I better just, I better brief that girl. She told me, she was like, you know, you have to be like, you know, really proper and you have to be like careful. Don't scream, don't shout, don't do this. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going on the show. And I said, We've yes, all got so auntie, paranoid. We've dressed her. We've completely <laughs> costumed her, put her makeup on glamorously just so that she just matches the rest of the atmosphere here. So, Karen, why Kaju? Why is she special and bestest? For lots of reasons, oh, really, actually. Really, Karan, tell me, tell me, do. <laughs> My first memory of Kajal, really, was when we were at the Cine Blitz party. And after years, I had seen Kajal because we had, we had met each other as kids, really. But um, <coughs> her mother insisted that, that I dance with her daughter who had just come down from boarding and now was stuck. And he was really funny. Oh, my God. We started <laughs> dancing. And I don't know, she was with a friend of hers and she just kept staring at me and laughing. And I was so, and I thought it was my dancing. So then I just moved a little like that. And I stopped my dance. But she still continued laughing. And then I just went and complained to my mother. I was only 16 was then. Really and I said, I said, Mommy, you yeah, know, Tanu auntie's daughter is very strange. She's just <laughs> laughing. What was wrong with him? I can't believe it. You know, we came, we went to Cinebless party and Karan has come over there in a in like a three-piece suit with a waistcoat and his tie and all. And I thought, and everybody else is like dressed well, casually. Well, you were in a Catholic and... gown. So that's I think besides you the should... point. We were both very badly dressed. Well, I must have looked funny, I admit, but she didn't look like... Catherine Hepburn or Audrey Hepburn at that point of time in any case. But uh, Kaju, you don't give your trust easily. When did you say he's my friend? Uh, I think it was not at the piano bar party, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't think that it was ever uh, a conscious decision, really. I am one of those people who is pretty instinctive. I mean, I mm. tend to like people or dislike people. Or maybe not dislike people, but definitely uh, make a judgment about them. <laughs> <laughs> at that precise moment. So but I kind of took him as my friend almost instantly. But you know, uh, I believe there is always one defining moment between pals which changes into friendship. It's because of one act, one gesture, something that the other does. And then you believe that this is not, we're not pals anymore, we're friends. Was there any such thing with you? Like I remember, we were, I was, she had given me dates for Kuch Kuch Hota Hai and uh, we were meant to sh start shooting. Mm. And Skajal was a big Mani Ratnam fan. Really? You know? She told me once that I wish I can work with Mani Ratnam. She had said it. I and had gone into the theatre to see Roja. Yeah, yeah I mean, and I she loved Mani Ratnam. Yeah. We had discussed Mani Ratnam so much that when he actually called Kajal, she didn't believe. Like I remember him saying, Kajal, this is Mani Ratnam. And she said, shut up, Karan, and put the phone down. <laughs> and she thought I was funny. <laughs> I and again, that. Mani Ratnam called and said, no, uh, this is really then Mani Shara Ratnam. called me up. Shara called me up. She's like, no, Kajal. I swear, I swear it is Mani Ratnam. I'm telling you the truth. Please accept the phone and call. I got a call. Shahrukh said, you know, Kajal has been offered Mani Ratnam's film with me. And Mani Ratnam wow. is, I know my God as a filmmaker. I think wow. he's fantastic. And I think your dates are clashing, you know. So oh. I said, look, I called up Kajal, you know, hysterically. And I said, look, I'll, I'll let go of my dates. I'll start my film later. How can you not do Mani Ratnam's film? She says, but for her, it was like, huh? 
I don't care who has offered me what. It's your film. I've committed to you. Really, mm -hmm. Kajol? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was. Yeah, but for us, it's no big deal. That's what made a difference to me. As a, I just kind of understood the person she was. I that, think it's a hell of a gesture. Yeah. And you never did a Mani Ratnam film after that? Nope. No. But I met him after that and I, you know, I told him, I said, I hope you didn't take it in the wrong way, but it was something that I had to do. But so that's I the way Kajal, and that's how she's operated professionally throughout my dealing with her, whether it was mm -hmm. on Dilwale, Kuch Kuch Hota Hai Now, Kabhi Kushi Kabhi Gam Really. But how did you know that he'd make a good director? This even he, I want to had, know. I never doubted for a minute that he would be a good director. I just felt that kind of confidence yeah. in him because I know he's going to work hard. I know he's going to make a good film. And if he sticks to his script, he's going to make a great film, which is exactly what happened. He's one of those passive-aggressive kind of people, you know, when he has oh. this, uh, he, he has this kind of determination about him that is hidden behind this social persona and hidden behind all this superfi superficial nonsense, basically, that he puts on a big front of. I, I think you're supposed to be being kind, you know. I, I am being kind to you. You know what I'm she's done? She's being honest. I'm like, saying that she, he is deep. Behind it, ah. he is deep. You know, Kajal used to always be very, very worried about me. Like, Kajal, Karan, you're going into this big, bad world of the Indian film industry and you're so kind of And I was tame. very protective yeah, about and she, and she like, feels, wow. and So she told me on the first day, I <laughs> remember, uh, after shooting of Kuch Kuch Hota, <laughs> and she told me, that, you know, just don't worry, just, you know, just worry. What you do, you come on the set and I'll just do something silly and you scream at me. Yeah. And, and you scream at me and everybody know that if you can scream at me... Everybody you know should be scared. It made a hell of a lot of sense to me, you know. Yeah, and it was not sweet. like I was going to take it badly. I thought it would be like perfect because he's a first time director yeah. and all. And people like tend to, you know, kind of act smart with you while they're gauging exactly, you know, yeah. what you're like and things like that. So I thought it would be like just the perfect thing. It would be like set the tone of for the film. Of course she did. I remember <laughs> going on the set and then we were shooting the song Koi Mil Gaya and Kuch Kuch Hota. It was a mm. stage sequence. And we were shooting the past where everybody has to kind of throw these little balls at them. And we had a lot of these young college kids and two of them actually, you know, started throwing them after I started cut. And one of them hurt Kajal, you know, it went on mm. her eye, you know. And I turned and something in me and that's my, basically at work I get like that. He's I a get. Hitler. What yeah. are you saying? Tyrant. I can't tell <laughs> Which you. Which is something you I can't mean, really like gauge Dr. about Jekyll me. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. No, on it's the not set, so bad but else. can I complete my story? Yes. <laughs> and, and, and I just screamed. I couldn't believe it. I was in shock when I saw Karan, you know, when he was screaming. I was like, my sweet mild-mannered friend. And you know, I've always been very protective about him. It's like, you know, with Adi and... Uday and all these people, like if they ever teased Karan, they're like, no, don't say anything to Karan, he's my sweetie and all that, don't say anything to him and all that. It was always like that, you know. And then suddenly, cut to, on the set, he's got the mata ki atma in him and he has just taken off. And I said, oh, did that, and I just screamed. And suddenly there was this brawny, big, muscular man, you know, who's to one college and he said, I did. And I remember looking at him and I said, uh, just don't do it next time. <laughs> I got so worried that he's going to just bash me up when I go out. But anyway, Kasha just saw, saw the screaming and she called me back again in the van and she says, you're fine. She says, I was worried, but you're fine. You she don't said, need to fact, shout at me. She says, story, I think I'll, I'll tell yeah. my grandchildren. Yeah, maybe we can get married first, then talk about grandchildren, please. You always said that ever since you were a little girl, you were a fighter cock. Yeah, completely. <laughs> this guy's hypersensitive. Well, uh, yeah, but I don't think I've ever fought with Kajal ever. We've, no, we haven't. Once we did, I mean, we were shooting the basketball sequence of Kuch Kuch Hota Hai and she was in a bad mood. I said something to her that And she said something to me in front of like a hundred technicians. What that was that thing? I like? don't remember. I really can't remember right now. But She had to tie her shoes uh, in the shot. She had to just, it was an introduction shot and she had to just do that with her shoelaces, you mm -hmm. know. And I wanted that action of, because I, I was yeah. imagining music like, shuck. Yeah. You know, so now she was doing it like she was unwell and she was making Sorry. one really girly knot, you know, she was doing <laughs> that. So I was like, Kajal, I want this. And she wasn't getting it, you know. And finally she said, Karan, just shut up. You know, she just said something like that. She just flared up. She was upset. No, I should have I gauged. Should not have, I and she not said that and immediately my face just fell. And I said, okay, whatever. And I turned around, I did my little sulk act and I, and I walked off. Yeah. And two minutes later, of course, I had this one pouncing on me to apologize and saying like... I, I just thought it was just so wrong for me to do it in front of everybody. You know. I mean, he's my friend, but at the end of the day, he's the, he's the, director, the director. And it was his first film. Yeah. And when Kajal starts apologizing, then she takes 10 minutes to apologize. <laughs> I mean, then, then, I, then I had to finally... I had to apologize to her for apologizing to me. <laughs> no, I'm really I, sorry I and I'm really that. sorry. I, I really Kajal, it happened six that. years ago. You don't have to feel bad. Oh. You know, all this toughness of, of Kajal, I think it's all a facade. It is. <laughs> it is a complete... Kajal I've just is a realized. Mills and Boons over sensitive, romantic, Absolutely. weepy. Just shut up. Kajal, I'm sorry to say, but the facade is broken today. <laughs>
but she is completely a VP over sensitive. See, very demonstrative, I believe. Yeah, complete. Oh, physically. If she likes somebody. Oh, only if she likes you. If you really want to feel like a warm hug, you should just give Kajal a hug or receive a hug from Kajal because it's, I think, got so much warmth that it can keep you warm for the whole year. I see. <laughs> Stardom and success came easy for you in a sense, Kajol. You didn't have any struggles or heartaches, did you? Uh, not in the normal sense, no. no, no. But uh, as far as struggle is concerned, yes. But I also feel that it took me a long time to be accepted as what I am. Because, because she broke the mold. Yeah. And mm. it was not something that it was not something that was very easily accepted. Not a lot of mm. people could accept mm. it. For you also, Karan, there weren't really any struggles or heartaches, were there? Not really. I, I always say I'm destiny's child. Things just happened in my life, you know, at the right time. But the heartaches were your dad's. Yeah. I mean, he's the one who struggled yeah. very all, gallantly. He, he's been, he yeah, struggled, he I think, of the 40 years he's given to the industry, he's seeing the good times only today. Thanks to struggle. you, though. Well, I think it's nothing. I believe it's his goodwill that I'm reaping the benefits of him. I absolutely adore him. I keep telling him, you're my most favorite man whenever I meet Lovely him. Person. He's the most amazing producer. Yeah. I don't think that Karan could have made Kuch Kuch. I don't think Karan could have made Kabhi Kushi today, if not for Mr. Yash Johar. You didn't really want to join films ever. Not at all. I was like a South Bombay uh, <laughs> uh, stuck up fat snob. I, and I was like... Oh, you was one of those people who we don't like today who go around and say, oh, I don't watch Hindi. I used to say that. Like, <laughs> but you used to also tell lies about your father's lots profession. Lots of lies. Uh, it was like, your fa I remember they had a big banner of my father's film uh, and it was Yash Johar's Mukhtar Ka Paisla directed by Prakash Mehra. And I was attending school. I was 8th <laughs> or 9th standard. And uh, they said, Yash Johar, that's your father. I said, who? <laughs> so he said, he said, the man who's making Mogatara Faisla, I said, same name. My father's a businessman, he exports. I said, me, make Hindi for me. I mean, my God, do you think we have nothing better to do? And we used to all say bye and go home and just watch all those Hindi movies and get most excited. <laughs> How anyway. funny. I've grown up watching Raj Kapoor. But and embarrassed Chopra about and, it. But I was so embarrassed about it that my mother didn't know about my passion for Indian cinema. She didn't know. Today, she was yeah. really shocked. She was like, you know, when uh, Kuch Kuch was being shot, he wanted to come up to me and he says like, is doing okay, you know. She was like actually insecure about it. I think she woke up early in the morning, you know, she put a tikka on my head and you know, mm. it was really like I was going to go Sent and fight a war. <laughs> and, and she suddenly, she just held my hand and she said, Karan, you know where to put the camera? <laughs> so I said... Uh, Don't be silly. Yeah, she said that. She, I said, yeah. I mean, suddenly I walked on and said, do I? I, I think so. <laughs> Acha Suno, I believe you do great imitations. You're a oh great mimic. God. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sri Devi and Madhuri, Devi and Madhuri. <laughs> dancing. I'm a big Sri Devi and Madhuri Dixit fan. So what do they do? I, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Dude, actually, what they did in, in Dilwale, we were shooting, and Shah Rukh kept giving me this a new cola, and it is, has a lovely twang to it, and I didn't know he was putting Bacardi in it, you know, and so he made me drink five of those. <laughs> and by the and I don't drink. I'm not a drinker. Uh -huh. So by then I just felt I was swinging. And then they, they started playing these songs. They said, now Karan, you have to show us. And I, of course, have stood up and done Mere Hato Mein No No Churiya Hai for them. And I've done all the dhak dhaks and I've done everything for them in my state. And they were just shocked. <laughs> so I decided that I should never do something. I'm going to kill Shah Rukh for doing this to me. <laughs> Kajal, tell me, is, today is there any actress who makes you feel challenged? <laughs> you like it? No, um, I don't think it would be a challenge so much as it would be just a pleasure to work with. I, I'll tell you the honest truth. I think she just thinks that there's just nobody in her league. If you are. Shut up. <laughs> That's not true. And you know, I agree with it. Kabhi Kabhi Ka must have been like a non-stop party with all these stars on sets. It was good fun. Yeah. I, I mean, it was always like, you know, you know that you're going to get 
as yeah. good as you give. Yeah. So you've got to, you know, be on your toes and you've got give to... Give your be. best. Yeah. Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, yeah. like, it's like, you know, you've grown up, I've watched every film of his. Yeah. And suddenly when you just yeah. bring yourself away and say, I am giving a shot with Amitabh Bachchan. Like, I can put my hand on his shoulder and say, like, <laughs> Good shot. You know, I, you can really do that. I mean, you know, it's And you who couldn't even talk to him? I couldn't talk to him. I can't. I Chewing still can't. Up. I just get a locked jaw. You know, <laughs> I, mean, I fainted the first day he was going to shoot with me. I just God. dropped. Very uh, filmy faint, actually. Yeah. He has dropped like this. Like, oh, <laughs> far. <laughs> and I fainted. <laughs> and I still remember Amit Uncle opened the door and he says, he came to me, Karan, I'll dance well, I promise you. Don't, you don't worry. He you says, don't, don't worry, you're relaxed. Coach Coach and Kabi Khushi, she became Mrs. Devgan. Yeah. Mm. Did you notice any difference in her? No, only her tone changes when her husband calls on the mo. It's like she's screaming, ah! Hi, darling. <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? Are you okay? And suddenly, like from Dolby, she becomes Mono. You know? I mean, I wish I would make him call her just now. You just see the change in <laughs> really? tone completely. No, it's not like that. Nothing like it that. It is it's like that. that. She becomes very like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you well? Feeling better? And then she's like, ha! Then what was I saying? And she's like, <laughs> so you're like, you know, the first, second time, I thought that maybe it's just something's wrong. But then we realize it's just happens her. every time. She becomes this very demure, submissive. And then wife. nothing like that, please. It's nothing like that. But it's just that when you're talking on the phone naturally to somebody, I mean, you obviously. No, Kajal, somebody <laughs> is just your husband. But you know, Ajay looks a lot like a Milton Boone hero, doesn't he? Yeah. You know, the tall, dark, mysterious, you know, silent. Maybe that's really the Ooh. reason. Don't you think so? Yes, he's definitely my Mills and Boone hero come to Def life. <laughs> <laughs> but is it true that when you first met Ajay, you, you both couldn't stand each other? Um, not stand each other. I think he just couldn't take me because I was this over chirpy, overconfident <laughs> kind of little girl. I don't think he could take the noise level. It was just that. I don't blame him. <laughs> <you. laughs> but you did tell Shabnam Aunty the first day. Huh. Couldn't you get a worse hero? <laughs> <laughs> I can quite imagine Kajal <laughs> saying that. Huh? Kajal who's made her judgment on day one. <laughs> yes. Um, Are you um, contrasting personalities, you and your husband? Uh, I would think of it as complimenting rather oh, than yeah. contrasting. It, that's one thing. I mean, we're different people in the sense that he's more, um, he's much more quiet yeah. <laughs> and I'm much more talkative. And uh, he is even less of a people's really? person than I am. The basic thing, basic fact is that we both have the same, uh, we both believe in the same things. Like what? Like, generally, we believe in 100% integrity. We both have the same attitude towards people that we love. I mean, we both, mm. just, if we love, we love wholeheartedly. Mm. Or it's nothing at all. You know, so mm. I think we both are exactly the same in the ways that count. Do you want to have a family soon? I will, definitely. Mm. I was one of those little girls who played with dolls and imagined that I was going to adopt at the age of 12. But you know, I think she'll make a great mother. I yeah. couldn't imagine that she would be such an amazing daughter-in-law, you know. You're very close to your mom-in-law? Yeah, I yeah. am. Tell me about her. Oh, well, the first thing that she said to me when I got married was that, uh, you know, beta, meri bhi betiya hai. Aur mujhe bhi pata hai ki beti ki shaadi hoti hai. To usse kaisa, uh, matlab, a dousre ghar mein jana padta hai. Usse, matlab, uski feeling kya hoti hai. I mean, ye mat sochna ki aap meri, uh, you know, bahu ho. Aap meri beti ho. So I felt that was really the nicest thing that you know anybody could have said to me i mean when you get married and when you go into a different house it's a different feeling altogether i mean little things like waking up and asking for your first cup of coffee in the morning yeah. can be a very daunting task yeah you know she gives me my space she's really cool that way you know mm. and i genuinely care about her today mm. i really do i genuinely love her and i and i think that she genuinely loves mm. me 
So, I mean, I think we've developed that kind of a relationship. But tell me, does the media speculation on your marriage bug you? Not really. Actually, it didn't earlier. I, mean, I didn't really think about it much because I felt like, you know, I, these rumors keep starting up and they keep yeah. dying a natural death. So I kind of expected it to die out a natural death. And, and slowly but surely, mm. the kind of momentum went on to get bigger and bigger. And after some time, you know, I had people coming up to me and asking me, you know, are you okay? Yeah. And, you know, is everything okay between you and Ajay? And I was like, yeah, it's fine, mm. you know. What are you talking about? As you can yeah. see, it's completely okay. <laughs> yeah. That's very nice. You, Karan, are a loving son to loving parents. And Kabi Khushi Kabi Gham is a tribute for them. Yeah. It, it's all about loving your parents. What I'm trying to say is that if you love them, go tell them. Because I know I haven't a lot. And, and I think... You haven't? I don't say it too often to them. There is an awkward kind of um, a, a silence at times that one maintains. But a lot of parent-child relationships go through yeah. this kind of a internal crisis. father and son. I yeah, think. I've chosen this this huge platform to say really to both of them how much I love them. Something that I can't bring myself to say when I'm across the table with them. I can't bring myself to hold my father's hand and say, Dad, I love you, or Mom, I love you more than anything else in this world. I can't say it. Somehow I don't know what stops me. I, know, I find my father and I are awkward about saying complimentary things about each other. Really? Like I can just go on and on with somebody else about my father. When he's sitting there, we just land up maybe fighting or arguing. And with my mother, it's always an irritable tone, you know, it's something really? like, But I just have no one else. I just yeah. have them and I love them to death. I mean, I just, we just, we're, we're, a, we're a tiny family, really. We only have each other. And just the three of us. And we all are very, very sensitive by nature. We all cry the drop of a hat. And uh, I just made this film because, I, as I said, I know somewhere selfishly, I want the world to know how much I love them. Well, anyway, now I think it's time you have a wife. I don't want you to get married, Karu. There you go. <laughs> Kajal says she'll hate my wife, so I don't know. <laughs> I think it'll depend on your wife, really. I, if you get one guy from Ghatkopar, then we'll have to worry. Guy from Ghatkopar? Yeah. No, I don't think I'm going to marry anybody from Ghatkopar. <laughs> Rivan Pandit came and said, no, the girl will be from North India. So, father. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What, a, what, a, what an amazing Pandit. He has such vision. <laughs> My father's got very excited for the fact of a North Indian girl. The best. Very excited. doesn't know that I have no interest. The biggest obstacle she'll have is my mother, Hiru, who will be standing at the door. But mother wants you to get married. She says that, but I know she won't want to share me. Oh my life. Can you imagine? God, no. Hiru auntie will be like. I think they'll be both glued to QK Sass because we Every night. <laughs> and also, I'm a person who needs my space completely. And I can't bear the thought of waking up and seeing the same person every day. I think I'll kill her. So right now, I don't think I'm ready. I don't think you're ready at all. Yeah. I think 10 years later, I'll be sitting across you again with <laughs> nobody. Oh, I mean, gosh. I was oh. hoping. I was with, at this rate, I don't think there's going to be another Johar. Oh, there has to be. Well, there's always in vitro fertilization yeah. and surrogate motherhood. Men. <laughs> So what? there will be another little Joha. Yeah. There may not be another what, Mrs. Joha. <laughs> yeah, they may. The means yeah. to the end. <laughs> so I'll just bring that little Joha behind without the means to that end. I was really going to say, next time you come, come back with your wife. I could well, be waiting I, I forever. I would like to say that I'm, you know, I'm so happy with my life just now. Well, there's no so law that says you have to get married. No, not at all. And so I then think, we can leave And it. I'm still <laughs> young, maybe not happening, and you don't but young. What is what? it, Kajal? <laughs> you, you don't have to compromise right now. Don't what? Talk to me. No. I don't know why she's laughing. What? Kajal, I think change of topic. What? Anyway, I've just loved, <laughs> loved talking to you both. Uh, had a great time with you guys. <laughs> and I hope you're going to come over again. Thank you for this round. Thank you.